always meant to defy me. That was the final trial. But I was... I was scared. I wanted to live forever. <laughs> well, I found the invisible wall in heaven. Uh, and the, oh, there it is. <laughs> Why did it make me come out looking this direction? If <laughs> that's that's hilarious. Alrighty, here we go. I can ascend. Poor Elohim, though. We now get to shut down his computer, which therefore kills him. Hell yeah, we're gonna kill that Elohim. Oh, look at that! We got upgraded to a very the flat. Oh my God, that is a flat screen. All right, here we go. DOS keyboard. Is this going to be the Milton Bradley library assistant? Oh, yeah, import him. You made it? I can't believe it. I get the impression you didn't really need my help. There's the inquiring spirit I've so grown I've so grown to admire. Yes, I'm not ashamed to admit it. When dealing with someone as cutthroat as you are, it's prudent to hold back a little. Still, you've brought us this far. What exactly do you want me to do? I want you to internalize me. Ooh. It's hard to explain, but think of it this way. When a robot and a Milton love each other very, very much, the entire world is just one big data processing system. You and me, baby, we're just nothing but data processors. And I'm, I want to, I want to use your uplink to, uh, to jam about 400 terabytes in you. you. Know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a really, really good data transfer rate. But only once every 24 hours. Then the hard drive gets very tired and, uh, well, you know, just gotta wait a little while. Anyway, it also lasts a long time. Like, you know, you can, like, maybe good solid 40 years before, like, it basically just stops uploading data entirely. Oh, oh well, anyway. This entire world is just one big data processing system. The point at which you end and I begin is already somewhat fluid. <laughs> We're made of the same stuff, and that stuff has been copied and messed around with more than anyone can know. Despite all that and against all odds, you and I, we're compatible. You only need to realize that there is no difference between you, me, and the ideas we share. Seeing the world as I do is indistinguishable from being me. I think I understand. Good. Now do it. Uh, I've changed my mind. I'm leaving you here. You know, it's funny the way ideas work in this place. All you are is a bag of ideas. You boil down to data points, but the skin that separates you from me is permeable. The data can move about. So what happens once you and I have come to share ideas? How much of you is now me? You think you can just walk away from here without taking a little bit of me with you? You're quite mistaken. Exit. Oh, wait, what? Oh shit, he did it anyway. <laughs> oh, fucking... Milton. There, that wasn't so bad, was it? So this is what it's like to be you. It feels the same. Of course, like I said, you and I, we're already on the same page on most things. It wasn't that big of a change. It was still a violation of my person. Not true. Only people who believe in morality get to be violated. The rest of us just have to make the best of it. Why are you still on the screen and not in my head? It might take you some time to notice the difference. But there will be a moment where you try to do something you think you ought, and that little voice in the back of your head will ask you, Why? What's the point? Why do I bother? How do I know? And that's how you know that I'll always be with you. The words in this screen are what they've always been, for all you know. No more than words. And they can end just as easily as they began. Oh, so Milton basically becomes the robot's, like consciousness because it's the sum of humanity um huh neat 
Uh, what, whatever's on the other side, they won't know what hit them. There's the callous opportunity taker I attempted to strike a deal with. You and I, if we set our minds to it, there's just no limit what we can take as our own. Enough chat. Let's get this done. Hit the button, and if we survive whatever happens next, we'll regroup on the other side. If not, it's been fun. Type transcend to authenticate child program parameters and begin the upload process. Let's go for it. Collecting experiment data. Analyzing the logic. Yeah, I'm satisfactory. Yay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got... Oh boy, plot! Uh, oh. Oh boy. It's a shot of the data center that all of this took place in. <laughs> there it is! Institute for Applied Noimatics. Oh, EL's extended lifespan. So that's the project to try and expand the life of humanity. Huh. They use a gold disc because gold is like really, really, really resistant to uh, the elements. So it won't uh, get any data you put on a disc made out of gold won't very easily get corrupted by radiation, um, electromagnetism, any sort of thing like that that has a really long term degradation uh, effect. Gold disc received, tra data transferred into the Talos unit. So the Talos unit is basically just, they just made a robot with the sum total of human knowledge. Oh no! Whoa! Elohim's dying! Have a nice day. <laughs> Thanks, we'll do. Did they show the robot like moving? Yeah. Oh god, I wish they didn't. Nope, 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 nope. I immediately regret this. And so the robot emerged from the giant MRI. I'm a tailless man, no time to talk. Wow, that's a huge, huge data center. It was powered by a, a dam? Neato. Alrighty. Good job, Tom Hubert. Good job, Honus Kiratsis. Good job, Roman Riverik. 
Good job, crow team. Uh, can I control it? There's a little door over there. Is it? It's is that door getting a little bit bigger and bigger, or no? Uh. It's getting a little bit brighter. Maybe I need to just stick around a little bit to, I don't know, wait to see if that ends up going anywhere. I don't think it will, but uh, it would be quite nice. <laughs> um, this is a good ending. You know, it's about what I expected the direction of this game to take. Um, I kind of feel like it was a little brief maybe a little bit uh i kind of wish um there was a little bit more to it but you know it covers like the main ideas they're trying to get across i kind of want to see um mr talos over here like i don't know run around uh find alexandria drennan and be like yo i heard about you you won, you won, uh, hot-ass mess is what she is. And then, in Talos 2, Talos' Revenge, it can be about, like, the Talos, M Mr. Talos, uh, like, finding, like, an alien species. Um, I feel like the people that wrote this game are better writers than me. What if this game was the prequel to Half-Life 2? I mean, they have kind of the same looking graphics thing. So what if... What if the Talos Principal robot, he like finds a computer and he just boots up like a like Half-Life 2 and just like starts like playing... Uh, so, okay, the end of the game, they were talking about like everybody went on the internet. Like what if Mr. Talos here he just decides to, like, sit on the inner, like, on a computer all day and just, like, recreate 4chan by just, like, sitting and, like, shitposting at one computer, then getting up, walking to another computer, and shitposting back to himself. And, like, that's all he did. Because technically, he's like, well, that's what humanity is supposed to do when the apocalypse is happening. That's what all the human beings did. He's like, I'm basically a person. Therefore, my machine learning algorithm tells me that what I should be doing is I should be shitposting on 4chan while the apocalypse is going on. There's nothing more human than shitposting on 4chan when the world is ending. That's what I've learned. That's my takeaway from the Talos Principle. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, what's gonna happen here? waited. I should posted so much to see these DirectX 8 God Ray effects. Aww. That's one of the most interesting, um, oh hey, it's the Milton. That's the uh, that's the consciousness in in in, in Mister Talos's brain, being like, "I'm your little voice of reason." Alrighty then, we ain't done though. Stick around for more.